Well, the latest is, is that the government uh, plans to put forward uh, legislation implementing the withdrawal bill starting tomorrow. It's a three-day process. Hopefully by Thursday, the government will get the legislation through the House of Commons and Britain can leave the EU on October 31st. So the government is still on course to deliver Brexit on October uh, 31st, despite, uh, again, the setback today uh, at the hands of the uh, House of Commons Speaker, John Burko, not unexpected. Uh, but I think the government remains 100% determined to deliver Brexit. It's now up to members of parliament uh, to approve uh, the, uh, the legislation that is being put forward and to deliver the will of the British people. At the end of the day, this is what it's all about. It's about a democratic vote taken in 2016, where 17.4 million Britons voted to leave the EU. And Boris Johnson is firmly committed to delivering the will of the British people. So at this point, the EU either needs to grant the postponement or risk a hard Brexit. What would that mean for the UK? Yeah, so uh, the European Union is considering an extension, of course, to Article uh, 50. Uh, but it's important to, to bear in mind that if the legislation goes through this week in Parliament, then the EU uh, will not uh, need to offer an extension. Also, the Prime Minister made it clear in his three letters to Brussels on uh, Saturday night uh, that although he was complying uh, with the uh, legislation in place, the, the Ben Act, his desire is for the European Union not to grant an extension to Great Britain and for Britain to leave the EU on October 31st. So at the same time, the British government is putting in place its preparations for a no-deal exit. And you had a cabinet meeting on Sunday to discuss the latest developments uh, with regard to preparations for a no deal. So uh, the British government is fully prepared to leave the EU if necessary on October 31st under a no deal uh, scenario, frankly, because Parliament has been unwilling, it has to be said, to implement the will of the British people. So Parliament really is the biggest obstacle uh, right now, but we could well see a no deal uh, Brexit on October the 31st. There has been talk of a second referendum. Is this on the table for, for Boris Johnson at all? Well, Boris Johnson is firmly opposed, and rightly so, to a second referendum, because after all, the British people already voted uh, for Brexit in 2016, and the biggest exercise in British democratic history. And there's no need for the British people to vote again. Uh, the Labour Party has tried over and over again, uh, basically, to move forward with a, with a second uh, referendum. I don't think they're going to succeed if indeed they put forward a, uh, a vote um, or, or, sorry, an amendment for a second referendum tomorrow or later this week. I don't think there's sufficient support in Parliament for a second uh, referendum. Uh, and uh, it would be outrageous, I think, for the British people to be forced to vote again after they voted emphatically to leave the European Union in 2016. I mean, this would be a slap in the face of British democracy if the British people were forced to vote again. All right, we're going to leave it there. Niall Gardner, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you very much.